Okay, it only seems, seems to have gone up now. Sorry, go on. Yep, seems to be working. Okay, no sound issues now. Uh, seems fine. Okay, cool. He's here for a reason, I was moving them down. Yeah, I was I was gonna send them up to um the iron. Oh. Just because we haven't got splitters yet. Place them there then. Thanks. Just grabbing some more of the loose stone that's around because it's faster than mining it. Might be one of my favorite soundtracks. Even distribution seems to work, is if you uh, hold control and hold down the mouse button uh, when your mouse is off the buildings, and then you drag over your resource oh, really that you want to fill the buildings. It's, it's pretty cool, because the way I used to do it was like I'd use Z to like tap in one at a time from the stack I was holding, so I wasn't overfilling just one, but that's not great. It drops one from whatever stack you're holding at a time. So if you're just looking to put in a couple of something, like into a, say, a couple of cartridges into a, a gun turret, that's what I'd use. Is there any way to take everything out of a box quickly? Uh, I think you hold control and then just click once on the box. I think that does it. So what do we need to make uh, red science? Just copper gears and plates or something, it's quite easy. Yeah, that's quite simple. Yeah, one iron gear, one copper plate. Maybe we could set this to make some of those gears automatically. How do you uh, put fuel in the assembly machine? Oh, we have to pick a recipe first. Ah. So let's say um, gears to start with, so now we should be able to add fuel.
Was there ammo in that in the spaceship as well? Uh, eight. Is that eight bullets or eight magazines? Might be eight magazines. Because I've only got two to start with, but there's not many to go around either. So we'll have to start making that as soon as possible too. Oh, yeah. yeah, I've left yeah. some in this box here. Half of them. Split is next. Sure. Oh, let's, let's have a look. We could do guns, actually. Guns and ammo might be a good idea. Yeah, military. If military one gets us that machine gun already, because the pistol is crap. Uh, if you're not using it already, remember you can use alt mode to uh, see the content of like chests and stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, nice. That's super useful. The cold power alone makes me love this mod. I love having everything cold powered, it's just great. Uh, honestly, it's quite interesting not having electricity right away. Because, like, I bet out, yeah, if you look at the map, our pollution's getting out there already, so we're going to have to be careful. It's not really a problem if you're not playing on that world. The enemies are, well, at least in the vanilla game, they're hopeless in the early parts. Yeah, well, we might attract more attention because of uh, the cloud, but... It probably, yeah, you're probably right, though. That is a cool way of splitting the belt. I thought of that. Just a little way to siphon some of it off. What, the yeah. inserter? And it's, yeah. yeah. yeah to and it's slow, so it's, like, yeah. Yeah, you'll see, uh, I have kind of made it, the curve go up. It's because it can't pick up the curved belts I discovered. That's why it kind of looks funky. Oh, yeah. No, that's fine. And it's a slow inserter, so it doesn't take everything. Yeah. Well, it's only a slow inserter, not by choice, but whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, what I mean is, like, you couldn't do that with uh, a faster one, or at least it would fill up sooner. spoiled by uh, Crastorio because some of the default settings are to start out with a few more items and have larger stack sizes. So I'm like, oh no, 
my small inventory. Yeah, that's part of the fun, really. Oh, of course, you get managing, because some of the later armors you get, and I'm sure it will apply in this, will increase your inventory size. And I think there's a research item for more in, um, more inventory. It's like a tool belt. Yeah, so for 50 red signs, we can expand our inventory by five slots. So we've got some copper plates here somewhere. Uh, you're gonna have it feed directly into it? Yeah. Just for cool. now, I guess. Oh, you know, I should have done it on the other side. Those burner, manuf uh, burner assemblers look really cool when they light up. Quite iron intensive, but I've just noticed we've already got light armor in our um, crafting options. But it's like 40 iron plates a lot, so we might have to delay actually making them a little bit. I'm gonna make a little bit of ammo for myself though. Oh, nice! Yeah, this is where... What did we need the copper plates for? Copper wire? Uh... Can we make copper wire yet? Yes. And we need it for the red science packs as well, which I think is just the plates. Oh, yeah, just, just plates. the plates. Cool. Yes. There we go.
Uh, yep, I can hear you. Oh, sorry, I just kicked my mic out. I moved, uh, my, I moved my computer because it's so fucking cold and I wanted to be in this room, but it's messy as fuck at the minute, so I have wires everywhere. But yeah, if I go silent for a while, just tell me. No worries. I don't see any biters anywhere at the moment. I was just scouting around oh. a bit. I see a base up in the uh, north uh, oh, east. Really? Might see if I can get a visual on that. Bro, can you see it from the map? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, far to the northeast. Yeah, it's like three nests. Okay, so a small one. Uh, where's radar in the uh, tech tree now? We have to research radar? I think you need like satellites. Yes. Oh, I was going to say, we should be able to build a, like a ground radar still, I would hope. Um, yeah, so radar is uh, 50 red science packs, but it will require electricity. Cool. Honestly, this is looking pretty good. We still have to sort of pick a few things, like I've been picking out the iron plates by hand. But that's fine. Yeah. It's best not to commit too much to, because obviously the size of like the electric miners are, uh, are different. So we, you have to upend things a little bit for them. But at the moment, it's fine. Uh, do you want to do splitters next? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, is there another coal patch? Or it might, or it might just be worth squeezing yeah, in a few more miners here. Yeah, we could definitely get a few more in here. There's um, there's a yeah. huge coal patch to the southeast, I think. Well, we'll definitely want turrets if we're going to go for that, I think. Oh, I see it. Would nice. Be, uh, coal is honestly the easiest thing to ship in because you can make it self-sufficient, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. true. Oh, exactly, because the burner inserters, I believe, feed themselves? Correct. So once we get some, like, maybe turrets down, we can go there. Uh. Do we need turrets, really? 
Well, well not necessarily. Oh yeah, no, we should. We can go set it up. I just like turrets because it means we don't have to be there. Ah, right. But um, we should be safe for a little bit unless there's like a bite in there. Oh, no, no, it's definitely not near it immediately. Yes, you know what? We we, we need coal for everything. So it's probably what because once we set up electricity, we'll need coal to power the boilers anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you mind if I rearrange the coal so it's in neat lines? Yeah. Go I, for it. I think it's a continuous thing and you don't need to ask. We're just going to be changing everything constantly. Yeah. We get we got military, didn't we? Yeah, so. Oh, we have underground too. Cool. Uh, yep. Underground belts are awesome. But you pay for them. Oh, right, well, while we definitely need the magazines for turrets, I quite like the shotgun as a more efficient uh, self-defense weapon. I think it's uh, more cost-effective. But shorter range. So having a shotgun and a few shells is definitely a step up from using the pistol, at least. spaces of coal, I think. I'm explaining myself very well. I mean like I know what you mean. To get yeah.
I think steel is our limiting factor right now. Once we've got this goal sorted, which we nearly do. Yes, we definitely need more steel. Iron, rather. Iron, sorry, yeah, steel's later. Yeah, I said steel first, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think I fixed the goal. We need more nice. thoroughfoot too. But yeah, I've got everything set up. I just need to add more miners down this way.
electricity. So where's the nearest body of water? Oh, wait, well, actually, let's see if there's another way of doing it. Press M on the map. Yeah, no, it looks like I don't see the um, boilers. I see a burner turbine generator. Oh, cool. That's interesting. Well, look at this way. Wonder what sand is used for. Let's have a look. Us, I guess. Yeah, uh, glass and concrete. worth getting that just so our bed science doesn't back up. Uh. Oh yeah, I automated those little um what do they call single uh, single cylinder engines? So that pretty I don't understand why this um, inserter wouldn't drop stuff onto the belt. Uh, wait, 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 let's have a look. Oh, because that side of the belt's full. It always tries to drop off on the furthest side. On the far side. Oh, yeah. I remember. I think some mods often. Ha uh, 
problem is it? I think it might have been Crestoria. You could change which side of the belt it dropped off of, but uh, it's actually simple, Robo. You just need to do this. Like, you want it on the club side or the fire side? Uh, yeah, I, I don't think it matters. I should move it so it's on the other side. That should work now. Yeah, it does matter. Oh. It'll get jammed. We need a splitter. Yeah, splitter. Oh, yes, you can use um th the filter. Um, sorry, the splitters have filters on them, I believe. And you can tell it. Uh, wait. Oh, wait, does that help us? I'm not sure. Hmm. We definitely need coal only on one side. That's the problem. So we need to use a splitter so that all the coal goes to one side. If we can get uh, automation for a hundred science packs, automation includes the long-handed inserter, Perfect. which lets you have multiple belts a little bit further away. So let's go that. It might be worth putting because if we're just uh, powering inserters. So then we won't need to worry about too much electricity just yet. Uh, let's stick this bad boy over here.
filter inserters, maybe. What are you trying to do? Split up the conveyor belts. Oh, 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 oh. We can we can cheat a little bit. I think I have an idea. Um, uh, let me see here. Oh, I'm, I I need more belts. <laughs> Let me just. Uh, we should probably move the furnaces a bit further away anyway. Yeah, while well, we're at it. Ah, yeah, that's what there I was trying go. to do. There we go. So that was the... Yes. You have a bit beforehand so it doesn't oh, turn into a... Can we, can we get rid of... No, fuck. Yeah, no, see, that's... You have to have a bit beforehand. Sorry, we're just testing that. There we go. <laughs> Wait, shouldn't the splitter... Oh, I guess it evenly distributes. Oh, wait, I think you can pick to only, um, what, do, what do you call it? Uh, you can use the filter on the output, and then you pick which resort you, you want to come out the other side. I think that's how that works. So, like, if you wanted um, iron on the top belt, yeah. There we go. Ah, yes, yeah, it's even got a little icon. So, what you can do is you can hold F and run over it to pick up stuff. Hey. So we didn't need to do any of that. Okay, whatever. It's done. Well, we know how this, it works. This now. is fine. Yes. Right, cool. Uh, Yeah, that reminds me as well. You can har you can harvest fish as a healing item, as well. How useful is that? Um, given that regeneration in this mod seems to be lower to encourage you to make those med packs, probably useful if we actually get attacked. No immediate rush, of course, but uh, having a few on hand might be useful.
Um, yeah, and I think you need at least one raw fish to make the spider tron, <laughs> if I remember correctly. Oh, that's the new thing what? they added. Yeah, for 1.0, it's like a yeah, giant yeah. spider mech. It's pretty cool. It's got an equipment grid and is it quad rocket launches. I think you can even remote control it, if I remember correctly, so it's very cool. Oh no, this is what's annoying about the, the burner insert, I just remembered. Yeah? Oh, just the, so the way I've set it up, because we need an extra fuel for every single line now. Extra coal everywhere. That's fine with uh, the mod, because you just control shift or whatever. Yeah, control click. So we can we can certainly get away with uh, in the burner phase manually feeding some things. Yeah. But uh Shouldn't these be this way? Oh, I was going to have them all um Output into the middle. Oh. You need uh, an extra then, bit of space then, right? Or you need to cut off the goal? Or... Uh, wh why do I need extra space? It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, because uh, the inserters will try to put it on the far side of the belt. Which is coal on there already at the moment. How close are we to getting electricity? Uh, yeah, I, I built a burner turbine here, which is capable of providing up to 2.5 megawatts. So, uh, once we have automation, we could start using those long inserters, which might make uh, feeding coal into some of these things a bit easier. Oh, what are we missing here? Oh, iron plates. Yeah, for the iron production, it might be more important just to make sure it gets iron ore, and we might need to just hand feed it coal. Because we might be overcomplicating this.
Yeah, Robo, these steel inserters we need. Uh, I don't know what you're after doing. Can you take a look at it? Uh, yeah, I wanted to. Um, so basically, I, I didn't want coal coming down the middle. Um, then if we have electric inserters instead of burners, then we won't need an extra. Ah, right, right. So just do okay. it by hand until then. Yeah, I've, I've got um, electricity coming over. I'm just trying to build the pylons. There we go. Oh, uh, oh, for loading the, we can, what we can do is we can extend the belt out and have multiple inserters and yeah, multiple yeah. chests. Oh, plus we, now that we've got electricity, the yellow ones are faster. Are they? Uh, yes. Oh, well, they should be. They are in vanilla. Yeah. So the burner oh, yeah, is 216 degrees. Yeah. And you can use the burner inserters you pick up to, as an ingredient in, yeah. And small electric motor, well, how are they made? Uh, copper cable. Yeah, so we definitely need copper cables now. <laughs> what? I just put some text on there. Those, those text plates are pretty cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> nice.
kind of a shame, but obviously because they want you to, you to use the burner stuff, you can't handcraft the science packs anymore. Uh, that was kind of cheap anyway. It was, uh, particularly for the early ones. Well, they wanted you to handcraft a little bit in the beginning, but uh, yeah, not even being able to handcraft the red ones, it's well. How do you remove stuff from the quick bar? Oh, um, you could either put something new on top of it, or it, I think it might be like middle click. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh yeah, nice. Oh wow, yeah, this uh, this generator is providing more than enough power for a few inserters. Yeah, we definitely need to kick up the labs and the um, science packs, I think. Now that we've got iron plates m more sorted. Uh, what, um, what does uh, crafting speed one mean on the furnaces? Uh, it's basically like the base speed for making that resource. So like, yeah, with, but, like latest... know, what does it translate to in, in seconds? Uh, I f no, well, the ba so which what are you looking at when you just when I when I mouse over the stone furnace the, yep. this is craft yeah crafting speed one okay so basically I think that is just like the relative modifier for crafting of that like type so in this case it would be smelting so later yeah. furnaces will have a higher crafting speed but it does seem yeah to be yeah that makes sense yeah, uh, well, what I mean by that is different resources might also take more time. So it's, it's, it's like relative to other structures. For example, these um, burner assembling machines are 0.5, but the one, I believe, is the player character has a one crafting speed. Yep. So machines are half as fast. So I'm pretty sure once you go to like the um, steel furnaces or the electric furnaces, they both have much higher um, smelting rates. I, I basically just want to work out how many furnaces we can have per miner. Oh, I, I struggle with that all the time. <laughs> I'm not sure how that translates exactly. That's one of the things I like about fac, uh, sorry Satisfactory, that you can see the inputs and outputs in an items per second. As well as you can tinker with the crafting speed of every structure by either underclocking or overclocking using power cores. It's very cool. So I don't know the number ratios, and sometimes they differ, because it was definitely very different in um, uh, Crestorio. Because rather than being like one iron ore to one plate, it was sort of like 10 to 10. Which is interesting, but different. So at the end of the day, so you just want to kind of get the belts as full as possible. And whenever it seems to back up, build more smelters. Hey. Oh, hey. 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 Are you if I join him? Yeah, sure. Oh, sure, absolutely. Yeah. 
go for it. Should be able to join uh, my game, or any, it might work on any of us using the Steam Friends. Okay, I don't have it installed. I don't know how long it's going to take to install. It's a gig. But uh, okay, installing so. the, mines is, the mods is a pain in the ass. I don't know, if Agent has them, I think oh. it's one click, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't it say hey do you want to sync mods? Yeah yeah. Right? So that should be fine. And none of them are well, space exploration might take a little bit of time, because that might have a bit of size to it, but I'd wager it'll be fine. Yeah, why well, signal uh, the mod we're using kind of really changes the early game. We're kind of have everything coal powered before we got electricity, so Right. We're literally using electricity to power a couple of inserters at the moment. <laughs> right. Everything else is coal. Yep. Cool. That's right, I was going to put in an underground belt thing here to link the gears to this motors. have the blueprint buttons visible um, next to your hotbars. There should be like blue, red, and green buttons. Uh, I see blue and red, but no green. Oh. Well, the blue one, there should be the blueprint uh, icon. Does it say Alt-B blueprint? No. On the blue button? Because what, what you can do is once you can you pick up a blueprint from clicking the blue button, and you can click and drag over the setup you want to copy. Oh yeah, it will, will, will be activated. Oh, excellent. Because I was going to say, I'm pretty sure the vanilla game, at least, hides your blueprint stuff unless you manually turn it on until you've got, like, robots, because there's not too much point until then. Unless you want to plan what you're doing, which I find them very useful for planning as well. Yeah, I was just going to copy paste some uh, furnace racks. Yeah. Obviously, you still have to manually put stuff in the, yeah. the blueprint, with, unless you've got construction robots. By the way, Kiro, you forgot to set the game. Oh, Twitch. I knew I forgot something. Can I do that now that we're playing? Uh, no, I don't think so. What, I have to ask I you to do it? Just don't worry about it, I think. Um, yeah, if it's your own channel, then you can... It's not. 
like change it from OBS, yeah. And in fact, you can do it from the Twitch interface, but yeah. For this, no, you'd have to get ISA to do it, but I don't think that's... The Actually, I think you, you, could, you could use the, um, the chat command, I think, can't you? Oh. Uh, yeah, but I don't think that takes if it's already started. You can try it. Also, um, dude in the chat says... Also, the um, voices are echoing. Also, um, the voices are echoing. Also, um, voices are echoing. Also, um, voices... Has somebody not got a headset on, or...? Which part? The voice? The voices. Uh, is, is there an in-game uh, voice thingy? Uh, voice thingy? Because if that's uh, on, that would echo. Voice. I don't think there is. Should I just stop streaming and do you want to do it bicycle? Because I don't have any of this set up on this. I have to reinstall of Windows. Sorry, what do you want what do you want to fix? Uh well like there's a lot of shit, I'd have to play around with it for a while. Would it just be easier if I let you take over streaming? I don't think I just think we need to do the um the voice. I'm downloading everything. It's not too bad actually, I didn't notice when I was watching the stream. So let me let me get into the game and then I'll I'll listen to the stream and we'll see. It seemed fine when I was listening to the stream briefly earlier. Test, test. Sounds alright to me. Someone else speak? Testing, testing, testing. testing. Hello. Testing, testing. Yeah, it sounds alright. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it was a transient thing. Sounds okay to me. Alrighty. Someone laid a uh, underground thing and didn't finish setting it up, so we just have a backlog of ore now. My that download's was... almost done. I take it it didn't take long to download the mods then. No, I just finished this in. Nice. Okay, so we do we do now have the um, uh, electric assembling machines. So we can use those instead if we want to. They're not any faster. But they don't. They don't seem to be faster. They're not. But they. Uh, either. Oh, 
Oh, wait, yeah, they don't look quite... Are they expensive? I don't think so. Not what really. do they need, I think? No. Well, I can make 140 of them, so... Yeah, so it, you can see the total raw resources. It only needs three more copper plates worth of uh, uh, copper wire and... Uh, yeah. Fast inserter. Green science. Electric mining. Electric mining. We probably want electric mining. Um, see. What do we need for steam power? Because that'll be important later. Because that's I definitely Blue don't see it yet. Zoom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Steam power requires green science. Is that expensive? So that's pretty expensive. No, well, that's just the, yeah. So it's the next one along. So it, it just means we're not going to get it anytime like soon. <laughs> it's a little way off. I want electric lamps so bad. That's T one. That's like the first thing you get in the game as well. Yeah, oh, well, we could go electric lab, uh, we can work towards that next. We need glass processing before electric lab. So we can grab glass next. Uh, what's the ingredients for? Yeah, we need electronic circuits. It's like the, uh, uh, before we, like, because if you go to, there's like a universe explorer, um, if you want to scan the surface of any of these planets, you need a satellite. So I guess that's the first space thing. Yeah, I take it once you've launched your rocket with a satellite, that's what opens up finding the other planets. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can, you can already see them. Um, some of the local ones, you just can't scan them. And there's also like an interstellar map that comes with the satellite, I guess. Yeah. So it must but be at the moment. It must be like yeah. a local solar system or something. Yeah. So at the moment, we've got our the sun we're orbiting around, our planet, and I guess this planet's orbit is technically its own map. So right. I guess that's where you start first before you go to other planets. You set stuff up in orbit. Right. How long until we're going to need some defenses, do you reckon? Um, if you can look in the top east, so the northeast corner of our revealed area, there's, there is a biter nest there. Now, pollution... Yeah, we... There's the hmm? pollution overlay. Yeah, sorry, I've forgotten how to do all this, so I forget what the yeah. button for the pollution overlay uh, is. Yeah. So once you've clicked on the, the map, you can then toggle on your overlays, like pollution and stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, and okay, so pretty it. pretty soon, it's getting pretty close to that nest. Yeah, I, I think there's been a whole bunch of trees that's been slowing it, because obviously our burner base yeah. is making a lot of pollution. Uh, yeah. We have oh. turrets researched. Uh, yes, and we do have military one. So you can make a uh, machine gun, shotgun, light armor, if you want. I'm going to make myself a little bit more ammo. I think I might go exploring down south to see if there's any biter nests that way, because it's definitely spreading out there. Also, it looks like the um, electronic circuits, green circuits, are different, quite a bit different to make. You can use copper cable and wood or copper cable and stone tablets, which I don't know if we've made any stone tablets. How do we make that? Okay, we can make stone tablets from the from the stone bricks. Okay. Interesting.
Which ta tab is uh, category is a turret under in the assembly? Uh, military. So it'll be the last. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't see that. I only see uh, equipment and combat. Yeah, I don't see oh. it. Oh no, there it is. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It looks a bit. It seems to look a bit different from. Oh. Um. Yes. It's like uh, we... orange colored. Yeah, since we last played, I believe one of the things they did in the vanilla game is overhaul some of the icons to make them look better. So that right. might be why. Okay, that makes sense. That's my biggest, like, that's the best thing they've added. It was so ugly before. Yeah, no, a lot of the icons for a lot of the ingredients as well look nicer and more distinct than they used to, which we'll see as the game goes on. Plus, a lot of the modded um, assets look quite nice. Like, I quite like the burner labs and the burner assemblers quite a lot when they glow. Yeah. The burner labs in particular. Yeah, they look nice. Yeah, if you try to build something in this game, does it build all the dependencies? Yes. Yes. When you hand, when you hand craft, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right, I guess I'll try to get more iron plates. Pretty much everything we're going to build is going to yeah. need that. Doesn't look like we have a lot, so. Some good mining. Are the electric mining drills faster? Uh, they should be. Uh, let's have a look now that we have. Oh, we still don't have them yet. Let's have a look. Uh, electric mining drill. Uh, what's the mining speed on the burner drill? It's um, one, uh, 0 0.25. Oh, so, okay. Yep, so the electric one is 0. 0.5. So it is right. faster. Yeah. Sorry, which, what's the button for the tech tree? T. Uh, T, T I think. Cool. You can also click on the the research in the top right corner as well. Oh right, yeah. One sec. I was thinking glass next, but radar is also quite tempting. Yeah, because that runs in the background, doesn't it? 
Yes. So yeah. honestly, maybe we should nab that to get one up as soon as possible. Sure. Oh, things. something I haven't seen yet. We can make a fuel processor to convert any chemical fuels into processed fuel that gains an energy value. So that might be worth doing in a little bit too. Take some of that coal and put it, turn it into a fuel. How do you get um, one item from a stack? Um... And you can also drop one from it from like by pressing Z to like to drop one. I can't remember how to pick up just one. Oh uh, yeah, select it and then hover over the other thing and right click. So can we use this core mining thing on this planet? I mean, I, we should be able to, right? Yeah. Uh, what was that core mining? Yeah, it's in um, sorry, co yeah, core, not coal. It's uh, left side of the tree in space exploration. Like I assume that's like a predecessor to the satellite prerequisite. Oh. Well, I assume it was pretty late. Text. I can't remember where it is though. That's what I mean. Is I I just saw space expression. I thought, wait a minute. How can that be the next thing? But I guess that's just something that I don't know came with this mod or. Yeah. So that. Might I don't see any reason why you couldn't use it on on the planet we start on. Oh, sorry. Yes, I believe it's useful for getting more resources after you've tapped out your this planet. Some. Um, uh, surface resources, but you still want to have some resources coming in. I believe that's right. what the core mining is for. Right. Do we get that one first and then do nuclear? Because then we can. That'll give us another source. Because there's no reason we can't do it now, right? 
uh, to research. Like what, are we, what are we more desperate for, like power or, or minerals? Uh, well, that's going to be a little way off before we can research those things. I might think it shows, right. um... Oh, right, okay, sorry. I misunderstood how this works. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, because we're still only on yeah. red science packs. Yeah, sorry, I'm... I misunderstood that. I was only looking at the thing on the right. Yeah, yeah it was... So it didn't make any sense. sense. Like, why is there... base exploration in nuclear? Yeah. Oh, it's two one on each side. Yeah. Yeah. So we want the one of the. Uh, so we want to on. Oh, and like one on each side. Right. Oh, you, the. I think it was a combination of using the splitter, and you can use the belts to pour onto another existing belt onto one side only. Start making red science production. Where should the science stuff go, do you think? Like, all to the north, maybe? I think it matters as long as there's... It's kind of kept a little bit separate from the rest of the stuff. Yeah. We could do, like, furnaces east, in general. Science stuff. North. What's the the button to pick things up off the conveyor? F. 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 Oh, yeah, right. Cool.
Can you let us hear me eat him? That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Fast inserters are quite cheaper, should we go for a green science? I don't know, we need green science eventually. Uh... Yeah, because we need green science to kick up a whole bunch of other things. And while we start setting up green, we can start nabbing some of the cheaper red ones. Yep. To, to build up a bit of a, a buffer. See with this um this electric drill, it takes up more space, but kind of like there's a little gap in it. Can you place an inserter in that gap? You you wouldn't need an inserter for the electric drills, would you? Because they pour directly out of its exit onto uh, right, a belt. Yeah. Yeah, you so do see saying. a radius around it. That's sort of its mining area. Oh, right. I see. Yeah, okay. And, but you can build things in it. Like, you can build them right next to each other if you're looking to like maximize the number of miners in a spot. Right. Build things side by if you build things side by side, do they transmit electricity? No. No, I'm think. pretty sure you need the power poles. Faster belts? Science is still pretty expensive. Stick to level one, I think. Okay, so it is. Yeah, so because yeah, we'll get the rest of those red ones. We don't have any green science production. Yet. <clears throat> yeah. So what do we need to make green in this mod? Let's have a look. Green is. Uh, it's annoying. Yeah, green is two transport belts and one inserter. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. A 
I've done a little scouting, so you can see on the map we've got the biter bases uh, surrounding us. You can now see them all. Yep, yep, no, you're right. I can always use more than one if I need it to be faster. It's, uh... Oh, wow. Yeah, no, uh, I'm used to the fish being more effective at healing. It looks like the med packs are way better. Well, no wonder I died. I was trying to use fish. Yeah, pretty much. Well, yes, because uh, I'm looking at it. Apparently the med pack is 50. And the raw fish is now only five. So no wonder I couldn't fight off those biters. Fuck! Oh wait, I see. I was overlooking it in the build list. If no one's built one, I'll build one. Yeah, we should only need one at the start, right? Yeah, because uh, that's not too bad. It's only 300 uh, kilowatts. In, uh, I think it was might have been Crestorio. They upped the radar power drain to like a megawatt. Was, All right, so I'll put one of those down.
electric drills have been totally overhauled since we played. They look totally different. Oh, yeah, I think they look way nicer than they used to. For sure. Yeah, they do. Where did you put them down? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that new model. That's one of the big ones I remember seeing in the um, was it Friday Factorio updates. Because the old one had this sort of rotary scraping thing going on, which is like, fine, but this yeah. is way nicer. Oh, uh, you do have to be careful when you put down these electric ones, because, like, this one I'm standing next to will pick up stone as well. Yeah. So, uh, we can get around that by sticking on, like, a splitter with a filter. <laughs> that way, if it picks up any stone, it can stick it in a box or, some <clears throat> or something. Or maybe okay. grind why, why, the, <clears throat> why isn't this one picking up stone? Uh, where are you? Over here. Why isn't this existing? That's why I put it down. I did think of that, but then I saw, well, this yeah. one's on top of stone, so isn't that gonna. Uh, no, it just seems but to Yeah, you it doesn't can say see... that. Yeah, you can see, yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, yeah so this okay, one's take... bordering I'll get rid of on this one. Yeah, I'll, get ri I'll just get rid of this oh. one. Uh, what is that? How much stone is there? Uh, yeah. What's the key to flip between your two hot fires again? Uh, shift and then the number key. Yep. How do we... I was going to say, we can set up some more miners in this stone patch and start making, um... Sand. Okay, maybe anything can do sand. Alrighty. We'll need walls eventually as well. Yes. We got aliens incoming. Uh, they're quite near the electric drills. Yeah. We definitely need a turret up this way. Building one. So when I say the electric drill, oh yeah, this way. Oh, I see an attack in progress. Where is it? Oh, fuck. No, it's near the. It's near Robo. Can you get to it? Oh crap! Hang on. I've not got any weapons. Uh, where is it? Wait, I'm coming oh. over too. It's like one of them. Ah. What do I press? Space boy. Oh, oh it's, it's dead. dead. Uh, what did it? I think it broke the belt. Do you know which nest it came from? Northeast? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, you're uh, curious this movement. They definitely come in. Yeah, I see yeah, them they're... masting near you guys. Yeah, I put one yeah, we... turret down on the right hand side over here. Yeah, we definitely to put it. Yeah, we definitely need a turret to protect this copper here too. Need to grab some plates. I was a little short to make some. Oh, you know what? Stone? I guess other stuff being mixed in the belts wasn't a problem. Because uh, this is that's another thing Crestorio does that'll fuck you up if your miners get mixed ore. You have to set the recipe on your furnaces, which means it doesn't work if other ore gets mixed in the belt. But in vanilla, it's fine.
we have stone walls researched? I don't think we have walls researched yet. No, oh, but they're cheap. We can definitely get them next. They're cheap as heck. We'll get them next. Not the here, Kirog. We're fucked. Oh no, just pick up the miners, just pick up the miners. Yeah, pick up the. Oh, fuck, I'm coming over. Oh, that sounds really bad. Alright, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Okay. <laughs> it's just space to shoot, right? Yeah. Yeah. How many miners did they get? Too many. Where was this one, Kirog? Okay, one? yeah, we're gonna need more ammo up here. We got two turrets, but they need ammo. Oh, okay, I'll move some ammo into them. Yeah, we'll need a production line for ammo soon. That's what the iron was for. We have the pheromones model. No. Yeah, I don't think so. What's that one do? Makes it's sort of harder. sort of makes them like go around your hard points. Oh. They they sense like I think it's like if they sense a lot of guy a lot of aliens dying at a certain point, they kind of go around that. Oh, like a sort of a heat map thing, so they sort of see where mm. the deaths are happening and avoid that. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I 
advanced furnaces would be nice. Can we get green science soon? Yeah, let's see if we can't start setting up some green science production. more furnaces. I think that's the bottleneck. It actually works really well on the turrets, because if you look, it boosts the bullet damage and the gun turret damage. Oh, cool. So basically, it's more effective for turrets than it is for your firearms. Fuck, are they attacking the copper again? It's up the top. I thought I put a turret there just now. Repair button. You need to build a repair uh, pack, you, I think. You, yeah, you need to build the repair packs. And then you can use you can grab them and use them to repair. I've got a couple right. on me, so I'll repair the turret and the belts. Oh, did those fuckers break the inserters as well? Me. It's a bit cheap, but you can also use pipes as like a, a weak wall. <laughs> Why would that help? No, 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 like if you're looking to stop them getting to your expensive turrets and you don't have enough stone bricks for walls. 
you could lay down some pipe instead. It's very much so a better than nothing, if it comes to that. So something I learned last time is it's a lot easier if your perimeter is just square. Like the straighter and squarer it is, the simpler it is. So when you have huge yeah. numbers of them, you just go across, rebuilding, repairing, whatever. We need to make those green uh, engines first. So those so are the, the little the engines first. Yeah. I, I guess before it used to be mostly the the uh, the gears. And, uh, yeah, these are like an additional step after the gears. Zero out of one meat. <coughs> zero out of one meteors destroyed. Uh, yeah. We don't need to so watch out yet. for that. So does that just mean that there will be a, an impact there? Yeah. If you pull up the map when it tells you, you should see like an X about where yeah, the meteor I saw that. crashed. Yeah. And I think you can often get resources from the um, the crash. Fucking biters are attacking the rocks. Is that a problem? No, it just means they're gonna break through after they trash them. But it's not a big deal. Where's that? Uh, right. Just by the copper still, yeah. 
When you say you're attacking the rocks, you mean the stone, stone walls? No, the, the box. It got in the way, so they're trashing them first. Okay. Electric lab. What's the sand useful? Glass, I think. I was going to try to set up at least a little bit of that because it might be useful for some things. Right. I just. I, can't, I keep running out of belts. Need more iron. I've got a uh, factory making belts here, Agent. Okay. So I'll grab a little bit of that then. You can take all just of it. I need yeah. it for green science, but we're a ways away from that. I have half of it ready, basically. Nice. You know, the tricky part is just automating all these components. How far away do you reckon oil is? Yeah, it's not the tech. Pardon? Do you mean like distance or like a tech tree? Uh, in time, because like I'm, I'm trying to figure out how much effort to put into the turrets, because you know, feeding the turrets oh. is kind of a pain. Um, I suppose you could just put it in boxes or whatever. But like yeah. last time, we had a big elaborate thing that was kind of restricting kind of made it hard to expand but if we're going to go to uh 
flamethrowers anyway. You know, like that becomes obsolete pretty much. So yeah, well, like out, flame... like, what's what to do? So. Yeah, I like fl yeah flamethrowers and lasers are pretty great for replacing gun turrets. I think. Uh, oh yeah, it's just a question of how long it'll be. Like, as if it's just. Let's say it was an it was an hour, and it's not it's not going to be an hour. But let's say it was an hour, then I just just manually feed the turrets to it. But you know, if it's going to be longer, we should definitely automate producing bullets. Get the red bullets. Try to. Yeah. I think we yeah, have to make it easier to feed the turrets. Sorry. I think I think we have to automate bullets anyway. For yeah, uh, it's for really an input. Act. Yeah, it's really an input to something. So yeah. But it sounds like we don't know that yet. We don't know how long yeah, it's going to so, be. Yeah, so in this okay. new tech tree, I couldn't tell you right. how far away... Okay, oil processing is 100 red and 100 green we are so after green. fluid... Mm. Oh, we're, we're getting to green. I'm just, it's not too far off in the sense Sorry, that in the tech fun. tree, it's just after fluid handling. It's but yeah, once we automate green, oil's probably what, what we'd be thinking you, you about. Crush it. Yeah, I'm crushing too. Well, either that or the military science. I don't think Agent X can hear us. Which I imagine we'd need for flamethrowers. Hello, Agent X, can you hear us? Come in. Yeah, I don't think you can hear us. Uh, I guess Hello? I'm going to save the game. I'm going to save the game just in case. Oh yeah, good idea. I already quit. I'm glad you did that. Oh, I'll save that. Uh, yeah, I don't know why he can't hear us, but I'm just going to... Oh, you're cool. You're tapping to like Is this, is this a death wall? No. No, it's like the default settings for the mod, so I think it might be pretty easy actually. Mm, okay. So we did alright on death wall last time. Man, do you really want to try death world with all the, like, with the way we have to do science at the moment? That sounds impossible. That Absolutely. Sounds... Really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm willing to try it, but... <laughs> I mean, if we started already, I just don't want to get like X number of hours in and be like, okay, like we we know we're going to be able to beat it.
Yeah. Oh, no, he's on yeah, sure.